What's up, YouTube? My name is Jeans, bringing you guys part 24 for my playthrough on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. As always, if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Also, guys, don't forget, go on Twitch right now, type in Jeans25, follow me on there, turn notifications so you don't miss out on any of the live streams. So, guys, in the last episode, we actually made our way into the Korok Forest and obtained the Master Sword. Look at this sword right here. It's so beautiful. It's like one of the best weapons in the game. But look at all the Koroks just chilling here. I love this place so much. I'm going to miss it. But, guys, in this episode, we're actually going to be making our way all the way down to this desert region down here and starting our third Divine Beast. So, we're going to fast travel over to this shrine in the Great Plateau just to make things easier for us. So, let's get going. Here we go. We made it over to this shrine right here, and it is actually freezing cold up here. <laughs> It's fine. We have plenty of hearts to take a couple hits, but I believe this is the Shika Tower right there. Is that it? This is what I'm looking for? Yes, sir. That is it. So we can actually start gliding over there. Oh, there's a shrine down there, but I don't know if we're going to do it. I think I just want to go straight through and get this Shika Tower and get grooved along with the main story. But yeah. Is that a shrine down there too? I think there's two shrines. <laughs> it's crazy. But yeah, the desert area is awesome. It's so cool. Like the There's like different monsters and all that in there. It's just like It just feels like a whole different region in the game. So... It's very cool. There's like heat waves. You gotta stay cool, like instead of staying uh, warm. But we have to make our way all the way up there with low stamina, so this might take us a little bit. We have finally climbed the mountain and made it to the Sheikah Tower. Look how far it was, guys. We started over there at that shrine. We had to glide down, climb up all these mountains in order to get over here. But here's the Sheikah Tower, but we can't just walk up and start climbing it as there's all this like mud and like hot tar. I don't even know what it is. But you fall in it, you start to sink, you lose hearts, and you get reset outside of it. So what we are going to have to do is make our way over to these rocks. Because if you try gliding off those rocks, you won't make it because there will be wind pushing back at you. So we got all these different metal blocks that we are going to have to use. So we're going to actually bring out our magnesis and actually start making like paths for us. So it's pretty cool. We're just going to start dropping these in the in the muck. Look at that. It's, <laughs> it just chills in there. And you can actually start like walking on it because it's like a nice little level there. There's actually some in the water. Or not the water. The mud too. I'm just going to keep, like, bringing them over there because I'm going to make myself a nice path. Yeet. Just drop that over there. And keep grabbing some. I don't even know how many we need. We'll figure it out. Oh, we're just shattering stuff. <laughs> Wait, maybe we can make a path this way, actually. I'm going to try that. And, of course, look at this thing. It's just a mess. <laughs> look at all these in the water. And we're actually going to use them. I think that will make everything easier. We're actually going to grab this block. I think we're gonna stack this one on top of this one. Can we just drop it? See if it lands. No, it's sinking! <laughs> Gotta move it just a little forward. Like that. I think that would be perfect. Okay, I think we need, like, maybe. Can we actually make these jump? If you land right in the muck, you're done. Get up there. Come on. Can we make this? Get up there! Yes! <laughs> here we go. Making it up here. When you get up. No! And guys, that is the downside of using all your spirit orbs for just heart containers. We don't have a lot of stamina to just, like, do a bunch of, like, jumps and make things quicker. We actually have to take our time a little bit. But that is what our spirit orbs are going to go towards now, is just stamina vessels. Because we just focus on hearts so much, now we can just, like, you know, catch up with the stamina vessels. But we're going to start gliding here. And get up on this one. Yeah, you can't just glide from those rocks over there, because you won't be able to make it. There's, I don't know, there's just, like, a wind that pushes you back, and it's just terrible, so... Yeah, go to these rocks. You can start climbing up. Or you can build a path. And what are we doing? We are running out of stamina again. Good thing. Guys, good thing. Don't I have something? Yeah, we got a nice stamina meal. We're going to eat it up so we don't fall down. We have to reset everything. So we're chilling. We can make our way up here. And then make our cell way to the next platform. Look at us go. Yeah, baby. How many more? Okay, this is the last one. I think we could just like actually just start spamming X and get pretty close to it. And now... Walk a little bit, and then use our last jump to make it all the way up there, just like that. And then we can distill this part of the map into our Sheikah Slate. Let's go, baby. Look at this place. This isn't even a place. Like, you can't even see it yet. Like, once you get over, like, the... See all that fog down there? Once you get down there, that is the desert place. Like, you can't even see it yet. It's all fogged up and all dust up from the Divine Beast. Like, that is what they're damaging the town for. It's like each divine beast damages town if you haven't figured that out already. Like the volcano place, he shot rocks everywhere and lava was going everywhere. The water place with the Zoras, he was flooding the town. But look at this, my favorite animation in the game. Just drops energy, 
into a Sheikah Slate. And this is actually one of the bigger parts in the map. Look at it. Yee! <laughs> Look how big this is. I think it's called the Wasteland, which is nice. But this is the town of the Gerudos. The Gerudos live here. Where are we going? Which way? We actually have to head down this way. I'm actually going to mark something on our map. If I could see it, I don't think I could see it, though. But this is where we actually want to head, right here on this town. But before we head there, we actually want to head to these oases down there. So let's get gliding on and get grooving on with this mission. And wait, guys, look, there's the divine beast. Look at him. It's a camel. And look, he's just coughing up dust everywhere. He looks so cool, though. Can't really see him, though. But that's him. So we're going to keep gliding on and get grooving on with this main mission. Making our way down here into the path, which is just behind the oasis. We actually have this shrine that I want to do because this is probably a fast travel point that we're going to want in this game. So we're just going to glide on over here. And hit up this shrine real quick. Shouldn't be too hard. But I'm loving this place already. We're just going to need some different armor to keep cool. Let's hop into this shrine and grab this spear room. This one's called the power of electricity. So like, we got these little balls right here. But they have their metal. So you can grab them with the metal. And they're filled with electricity. And bang. It lights this little torch. And once both of them are lit. You can actually go through the door. So the first room's just showing us how to like use all that stuff. So we're just going to move on to the next room. And then actually solve puzzles. So this door says we need a small key, because you can see it's locked and it needs a key. So we got this electric ball. What do we got to do? We got, I guess we're going to need another one. Is there another one over here? Where's the next one? Here it is. We got this little guardian glide. We're just guarding things. Bring out our master sword. Yeah! Yo, look at that. Just one hit him. Get out of my face. <laughs> Those ones are weak boys anyway. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is shoot this rope down with the electric ball. Now we can pull out the magnesis and grab it. Let's go. Let's get it, baby. Yeah, I'm loving the master sword, guys. And also, September 25th, Link's Awakening Remaster comes out. It is a Legend of Zelda game, but it's a 2D game, so it's, like, so different. It's so cool. You guys are going to love it. I can't wait to play it on the channel for you guys. But that actually pushes the rock all the way over here. I wonder if we could just stasis that. Just get whoop it on it. I don't know. But here we go. Grab this chest and get some small keys just chilling in here. Bam! Small key, and we can actually head through the next door. Let's go. But, yeah, Link's Awakening, I'm so hyped for it. It's a 2D Zelda game, and it just looks so much fun. I just cannot wait though. Like, we're gonna 100% that on that channel. And then we're gonna move on to Luigi's Mansion when it comes out. That game looks awesome too. Luigi's Mansion 3. I'm excited for that. But look at this. We got this Guardian with 100 health. Health. We're just gonna shoot it. Get whooping on him. Whoa, whoa. What's up, dog? Oh, we can't grab this Guardian Sword, but it's all good. We got the Master Sword, baby. Last puzzle right here. So, as you can tell, this isn't shouldn't be too hard. We're just gonna go over here. And as you can see, like, the electricity, like, travels through the water. So, if we actually move this to like here and then move this one over to about here there we go and that solves the puzzle so the electricity travels through a current through the water and all that turns a turbine and it opens up the last door that we need so now we can finish up with this shrine and get grooving along into the desert area now that we have finished up with that shrine we can actually come down to this path right here here's the little stables this is why we need this it's a nice little fast travel point but this is actually a nice path that leads us right to the oasis and then to the city of the Gerudo. So we're just going to keep running on this and wait till you guys see out there. Like, this is how big this place is. Just look at it. It's a big desert and everything. There's actually a shrine chilling over there that is the one at the town that we're going to need. And the temperature is getting very high. Find a cool way. Find a way to cool down so we don't take damage. But we don't really have a way to cool down right now. We're just going to probably take heat damage soon, so... That's our problem. <laughs> Until we make it to the oasis, we can cool down. But the heat is going to start to get drastic here. And you can hear it with, like, with like the music and all that. It's just, like, music that, like, makes you know it's, like, it's hot out. So we probably should have made meals to make us cool ourselves down. But I think we'll be fine. We got Mephis Grace, too. So let's head to the oasis. All right, so now we can actually head into the oasis right here. And we got this, like, chick just chilling here. But I don't really think she does anything. Nope. She just says nothing unusual here. And it's the Kara Ka Kara Bazaar. So there's like little shops here and all this. It's like a little like place we could chill at before we go to the next city. Okay, guys. Now we're just going to head over there to the city and do that shrine right there. And then head. Well, we have to figure out a way into the city. You guys will see when we get there. Guys, we're almost there. Look at us. The thing that sings about the desert is that like when you run, you run so much slower because you're insane. But that's like a cool effect. Like because that's like true in real life. Like. So I just think it's cool how they added that. So you can actually get like sand boots to keep you like running normally. But there's like a cooler way to travel around here. But yeah, the heat is starting to take a toll on us. Look how much hearts it did. It took out six of our hearts already. But we're good. We're chilling. We're just going to head into this shrine, finish this up, and then 
find our way into the city. Let's get it. Let's get it, baby. Woo! This shrine is called the whole picture. We actually just make our way in here and kind of look at it. Everything. It's another electric thing. So we actually have to, like, transfer all these to light up those little blue torches. So what we're going to need are these metal blocks right here. So. What's in here? They, we just got two chests there. I don't think the chests are two. Oh, no, they're barrels. So we are actually going to need the barrels. We're going to need that barrel right there. So how are we going to do this? The electric path goes there. Lights that one. Once we take it off. Oh, no. There's one main point that does all this work for us. Okay, do we have to move this over just a little bit more? Now we're going to need another metal thing. Is there another metal block over here? Come on, show me the money, baby. No, there's not. There is not. There has to be one perfect position that we can place this on. To make everything go together. Oh, no, there's a metal barrel right here. Perfect. Okay, so now we can grab ourselves this metal barrel. And come right here. Can we do that? No. We're actually going to need this block right here. Place this right here on that. And then place this right here. Bang, look at that. This is close. Where are we at? Right here, we gotta place it. Over here. Bang, there we go. And it lights that one. And we we're able to get this metal barrel. I'm not too worried about the chest, considering which probably just like another weapon or something. And we are full on weapons. So now we can actually... Why am I grabbing the barrels? That's my question. Why am I grabbing them? I have magnesis. <laughs> There's no need to waste our good earned strength over here on stinking barrels that we can just pick up <laughs> with our magnesis. But now we're going to have to bring all three of these over here in order to solve this last puzzle and finish up this shrine. So as you can see, we got this little path right here. We just got to find the path right here. Where's it lead to? So we're going to... Hmm. We're going to put this metal block right here. So that, that works right there. Grab a barrel. Put that there. Can, we, can you, like, stand up, barrel? I don't want to drop you and you just fall there. See, like, look how annoying it's being. There you go. You can stand up, barrel. There you go. He chills there. And now this one makes it run all the way over here. And then this should be perfect. Nope. A little bit back. Bang right there. Oh, we're going to need one more barrel. We're missing another barrel? How are we missing another barrel? Where's the last one at? Was it in this door? Is that a barrel? No, it's a chest, but we need the chest. No, the chest is metal. I was saying how we didn't need it. Here we go, guys. There we go. Metal chest works there. This barrel needs to come up right. There we go. You chill here, metal barrel. And you get over here. This metal barrel goes right there. And that should finish. Oh, no, it's not close enough. Move it back just a little bit. There we go. And that should finish it off. What, it doesn't? Oh, no, wait. We got to push this forward a little bit. There we go. And like that. And now we grab ourselves this metal block right here. And now we can actually do this. Yeet. And charge that one up. And now we got to charge the last one up, which is over here. We just need the other metal block now. Just grab that. So you bring it on over here. And just drop it right here and light this second little... What is it? Light torch? Why are you stuck? There we go. I'll push that up against the wall. Can you get up against the wall? There we go. That will light that off and open the door. So now we can finally finish off this shrine after all that confusion. <laughs> it was like getting on my nerves. I was like, no, we need this. But we can finish this off. Start heading to the city. Now we can actually head this way into the town real quick. Like, look at us. We're just going to go walk into the Gerudo town. These are the Gerudo people right here. And check this out. We're just going to go walk in here. All peacefully and everything. And these guys stop us. Point their spears at us. Look at us. They're going to kill us. <laughs> we are actually not allowed in here without our vote. The vote is like their armor or like their dresses that they wear. So that's how you could tell that you're a Gerudo. So we're not allowed in there without that special piece of armor. So, of course, now we got to go find it, which is the pain. <laughs> so, guys, in order to get into the Gerudo town, we need that the vow. So we talked to this guy right here. His name is Benja. And now we just keep talking to him. He gives us a side mission in order to get the vow. He, he tells us about a guy who snuck in here before. And then we just tell him we're just doing research. Like, So you talk to him in order to get the quest to get the vow. We're just going to keep doing that. And then head over to the Kara Kara Bazaar. Where we, have we can actually finish it up and get everything. He that's where he tells us to go. So now we get this mission. It's called Forbidden City Entry. And now we can actually head all the way back over here. It stinks because there's no fast travel. But I'll see you guys there. 
Yeet, baby. You can actually shield surf across the sand very well. But we just hit that rough right there. But we're good. Now that we make our way back to Car Car Bazaar. There's this guy just chilling here. I think his name's Robson or something. But we go up and we talk to this guy right here. And he will actually, like, start finishing up this quest for us. We tell him a man snuck into the Gruda Fortress and all that. Blah, blah, blah. Then he tells us. I don't even know what he tells us. I'm just clicking through it, to be honest with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but he tells us there's a girl in the general store, her Gruda, with the Gruda clothing. So we have to go talk to the girl inside the general store, which is all the way over here. But guys, you actually have to have 600 rupees in order to get this uh, Gruda bow. So we're going to go in here, talk to her. She's going to be dot 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 oh. And now you just say, seen a sneaky guy. You just tell her that real quick. And then she will actually send you to the rooftop real quick, where there will be a person waiting to sell you everything. Which is awesome. There we go. Get done talking to her. Get grooving up this ladder right here. Yeah, baby. Get up there. Get up there. We were actually just over here climbing up the ladder and everything. And now we are actually have to come back, which is terrible. I wish we would have did that in the beginning. But we couldn't have. We had to go to the shrine real quick and do that. But it's okay if you run out of stamina here. You can actually just climb up here. And now we got this lady chilling here. So we can actually go talk to her real quick. Or is this a lady? I don't know if it's a lady or a man. <laughs> it sounded like a man. Yeah. Wait, I don't even know. But... You say study her face and everything. Oh, she is a woman. It is okay. But we're actually she's actually gonna sell us our Garuda bow for six hundred rupees. So we're gonna take that and get it. The only thing that stinks about it is it is so bad defensively. Like it is all ones. Like it is just terrible. It is just just god awful. But look at us now. We're styling. Yeah. Look at us. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Look at Link. He's chilling, all styling. Looking like Aladdin. <laughs> but it's alright. It actually keeps us cool in the desert heat, too, which is awesome. So now we don't have to make food or anything. And, oh! I don't even know. There was a nice big gust of wind. Now she's, like, crying or something. I don't even know. But we get this, and now we can actually head on to the Gerudo city. Now that we have the Gerudo bow, we can actually just walk in here like... Like, oh, it's nothing over here. <laughs> Just a normal Gerudo walking through. I'm actually a Hylian, if you guys didn't know that. <laughs> look at this. Now we can just walk in here and take a look at this beautiful city. Look at this. Oh, my God. It looks awesome, guys. Look. We got a Goron chilling here for some reason. Like, it's so awkward. You got all these Gerudo people, and then it's just a Goron. <laughs> But guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. As in the next episode, we're going to be talking to like the main owner of this place and starting our Divine Beast quest. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.